will list for number 1,000. They'll come streaming on and the security. Dan will be in charge once more. I'll keep him off, Sammy. Lock it from 25 metres. It shouldn't be a problem. He's almost directly in front. This familiar, slow, deliberate approach. Just a couple of steps. Here they come again. I think it's working better this time, Sammy. <laughs> Just Russell Morris would sit down. He shouldn't be out there. <laughs> He's still waiting to give the all clear. And now he gives it. $1,000 to Tony Lockett. He joins a very, very elite band. Jason Dunstall, of course, joined that group earlier this year. They're chasing the Coventry record of 1,299. But what a magnificent achievement, Jared Healy. Just an extraordinary footballer, Tony Lockett, and he's had a fantastic season, his first in Sydney. It's always a, a big challenge uh, when you come up under the circumstances that he did, uh, a very high-profile player. And down goes the umpire, and that uh, is just a fitting reward, and I think it's terrific that the Sydney fans can get out, as I said before, and... Uh, cheer their hero despite what uh, a few people in the uh, football game would suggest that perhaps Dennis it's a little bit dangerous. Oh I think it is yeah I think it's not on but still it's a tradition security was better that time I think some smart autograph hunters rushed out and bought some yellow tops since the last on field rush you can't take anything away from the feet of Tony Logger a thousand goals is just a, a remarkable performance yep. I think a standing ovation probably would be better from my point of view, but it's just a point of view. You like things neatly wrapped and Well, I just up. think it is dangerous. I mean, in a really volatile game with a lot on the line, I don't think you can have the public out there. We've had this discussion before. I think particularly with some very young children. Well, not only that, but I mean, uh, people come armed sometimes in public. Yeah. Yeah. And 